Hello and welcome to an e-demo, part of our video intelligence series, on how to set up and configure a video intelligence linger alarm on our video edge. Today we have a store who are having some problems with people stealing bottles of alcohol. The tactic being used by the thieves is that they are lingering around the area where the alcohol is kept before ensuring no one is observing. And then they go ahead and place the alcohol in a bag from the store which contains items they purchased earlier on in the day. So what we want to do then is to alert the security guard to people lingering around this area for a period of time so that they can observe the area. And to do that we're going to set up a linger alarm on our video edge. And first of all I'm going to just right click on the recorder which has the camera in my Victor device list and I'm going to choose configure. And that's going to open up the video edge administration interface. And the first step then is to enable video intelligence on the camera itself. So I'm going to choose the setup icon next to the camera. And I'm going to choose video intelligence from the video analysis drop down. And I also need to make sure my camera is in one of the two video analysis recording modes. And they are record alarms only or record always with alarms. So with that enabled on the camera then, I'm just going to choose save to save those changes. And now I can go ahead and configure the alarm itself. So I'm going to choose alarms from the devices list. And I'm going to choose the camera from the drop down here. And I'm going to choose the plus icon then to create a new rule. And first of all, I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to choose the type linger from the drop down. Then I can go ahead and configure the parameters below. So the first thing I need to do is make sure the alarm is enabled, which it is. And then I can go ahead and choose an overlap value. And this is a percentage value, which defines how much of the object, or in this case, the person, lingering at the shelf, must be in the region of interest before the alarm triggers. Because this door has a large issue here, we want the alarm to trigger quite regularly. So I'm going to choose 50%. We can, of course, come back and change this value over time if we're getting a lot of false positive results or we're finding the alarm is just going off too often. Okay, so the next value we need to set then is the linger time. And this is the amount of time in seconds that the person must linger in the area before this alarm is triggered. And I'm going to choose 10 seconds. That's about average for the incidents that are occurring in this area. And you can see here we also have some color parameters which I could set if I wanted to. And they detect objects, or in this case it would be people, that are lingering in the area and that are of a specific color. So that's going to be perhaps useful if the offender always wears a red jacket, for example. But in this scenario, we don't need those options. I'm just going to go ahead and leave those boxes blank to detect alerts of all colors. Okay, so what I can do now is go ahead and move over to the camera scene on the left and begin to draw my region of interest. I'm just going to draw a rectangle here. With that done, I can go ahead and save the alarm and our rule is ready to be used.